Well, welcome to St John's Church in Bromsgrove and uh, to our first virtual coffee concert featuring contributions specially recorded by Rob Porter, Dave Coulson, Janine Porter and uh, a little bit on the organ here from me. So this is meant to be a coffee concert so uh, you ought really to have a cup of coffee so if you haven't got one why not uh, hit pause and go and get a cup of coffee and a slice of cake and then listen to our performances. All right, so here we are. Uh, to start with, two specially composed pieces by Rob Porter, who plays bass clarinet with Alistair Mosley on piano. Rob has composed two contrasting short pieces uh, entitled Subterranean Sulks, followed by a Grenadilla Grunts.
Next, a reflective, unaccompanied piece uh, played by Janine Porter on her flute. It's by Arthur Honegger and it's called Danse de la Chèvre, which apparently means Dance of the Goat. There is uh, a slow, dreamlike introduction, then a skipping theme, which is presumably the dancing goat. Then the goat relaxes for a bit before dancing again. The dreamlike opening music returns at the end. Here's Danse de la Chèvre.
Thank you, Janine. Dave Coulson is a wonderful regular contributor to our coffee concert series. Here he is to introduce a gorgeous song by Brahms, accompanied by his daughter Marion. The song I'm going to sing is V Melodian by Johannes Brahms. You know, people sometimes say Giuseppe Verdi in English is Joe Green. Well, Johannes Brahms in English is Joe Broom. But he's one of the three big B's of music, Bach and Beethoven being the other two. His composition is often viewed as being the zenith of Romanticism. I can remember the death of Brahms being cited as the cut-off point during my time as a young student learning about that genre. It could be said that he was unlucky in love, being engaged once and possibly having proposed to another lady but actually never marrying himself. This song, however, positively overflows with passion. It is so rich, it puts me in mind of being the golden syrup of music. A great favourite of my puddings, one must not eat too much of it. This song is just three short verses long, not strophic in the strict sense of the word. Each verse begins similarly, but then each has a delicately different conclusion. I won't give you a full translation of the words, you can look that up, uh, but just to give you a flavour of the contemplative nature of the music. The first two lines are translated as, thoughts like melodies steal softly through my mind, and it's that sort of thoughtful nature that the whole song is putting across. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you, David. And now to finish off, a little organ piece by a local organist and composer, Piers Maxim. Piers is organist and director of music at Malvern Priory, and he composed this piece for the wedding of a couple who were keen cyclists. Now that's important, so remember that. It's called Toccata Nuptial, and uh, it's great fun. I hope you enjoy it and uh, I hope we can put another virtual coffee concert together again before too long. With grateful thanks to our artists and all best wishes from me and from St John's Church in Bromsgrove.
Thank you.